Dog Ong's famous for a number of things. Henry Lawson spent quite a bit of time here growing up. And uh, subsequently, it's known as the $10 Town. The old $10 note, of course, featuring Gong Gong and Mr. Lawson. And uh, it's actually named from the Wiradjuri uh, tribe um, or clan of local Aboriginals here in the region. And it, uh, Gong Gong actually means deep waterhole. Now, this is a gold rush town. There, are, there was, probably still is, gold in them there hills here in the, uh, the Great Dividing Range. And um, established in the 1870s, it um, was known as a uh, poor man's diggings town. Basically, for those in the gold rush that didn't have a lot of capital investment to, uh, to come in and uh, try their luck and sell their wares, so to speak. It is a, uh, a gorgeous little hamlet of around 3,000 people. Great wine growing, olive growing and uh, farming region, as well as a big coal uh, mining region as well. Born in Grenfell, New South Wales in 1867, many of Henry Lawson's stories and poems are framed in the Mudgee Golgong district scenery where he grew to the age of 15. Before leaving school to work with his father as a carpenter building houses and other buildings in the district for a few years. A montage of Gold Rush era Golgong street scenes was used as a backdrop to the portrait of Lawson on the first Australian $10 note. The Lawson family moved to the Golgong Goldfields in late 1871. Henry's mother Louisa opened a dressmaking shop with two of her sisters. Meanwhile, Henry's father Peter had staked a claim at Happy Valley where he'd struck a little gold. Around this time, Louisa Lawson took the children, along with her mother and several of her sisters, to Sydney for a holiday, where they stayed in a boarding house. It was there that Henry Lawson, who was four at the time, wandered off and got lost before showing up in a brothel wearing velveteen knickerbockers. Mm -hmm. 